Moin Moin, this is Robert and welcome to my pretty much first English spoken YouTube video. Um, so usually I do my stuff uh, in German, but for this series I plan to actually do it in two languages, so bilingual. So this series will be actually voiceovered in German and in English and you can always choose at the beginning when the jingle is running and you see the intro picture, you can choose if you want to watch these episodes in English or in German. So what is this series about? This series is called, as you might have read, The Dunian. And The Dunian is pretty much a, yeah, a reenactment of The Martian or the story of the Martian uh, from the books and from the movie um, within Kerbal Space Program. So what you see here, you might have already guessed, is my interpretation of the Hermes. So the Hermes is like the big iron propulsion driven super spaceship which the crew from the Iris missions are using to actually go to Duna and back. So this will be pretty much the center of all the missions I want to reenact. So, because I don't only want to do like building the Hermes and make a little video like now in the orbit of Kerbin, but I really want to go to Duna and I want to do a mission with six Kerbins and want to do it Aero style. So, we will use landing modules, return modules, and all this stuff. So, and what you see here is pretty much uh, the Hermes. Um, in a finished state. So the first episodes of this mini-series, or of the series, I'm not actually sure if it will be that many because it's quite a lot of work done here, um, I put together. So you can see the, the command section in the front followed by the communication section. We have some, um, some snacks and food and water and stuff. Then we have the habitation ring which is actually the part you know from the Martian, which is rotating to make artificial uh, gravitation and stuff, um, followed by a habita uh, habitation module from uh, UKS, um, the docking section, which was also shown on the Hermes, where they received like their resupplies when they made the turn from uh, on Earth again, and we have quite a lot of stuff going on here, so we have also... Uh, what is it named? The storage container or something like that? This uh, little blown up stuff which is currently going over there. And then we have a lot of Xeon tanks because what I need to propel my iron drives is Xeon. So Xeon is actually the stuff within those funny balls hanging on the ship there. Um, we have a space lab, we have a lot of energy stuff in there. And then comes the funny part why I have all these radiators on the ship. Um, well, I have these heat radiators because I use nuclear power to actually power all these iron drives. Um, the Hermes is quite a big ship, so I need a lot of iron drives, they need a lot, lot of energy, and I can't provide it all with solar power. And as you might have noticed in the Martian, they have solar panels, but what do they actually power the iron drives with? Right, it's nuclear reactors. Um, as you see here, I have one big nuclear reactor and two small ones, which are <laughs> attached with a shitload of radiators to actually make sure they don't explode if we use them for a longer time, because they generate a lot of heat, and the problem in space is not actually that it's not cold enough, but there is no, like, um, I mean, how is it named? Yeah, sorry, I'm German spoken. Now, medium, medium, I don't know, nothing you can transfer the heat to because it's vacuum. So it's actually quite problematic to get rid of heat in space. And as you might have guessed, nuclear reactors cause a lot of heat. So, as you might also have already noticed, this is not possible with stock Kerbal Space Program. So I use quite a lot of modules. Let's go to the list. You will also find uh, it written down in the video description. So the modules I use is pretty much uh, the stuff from Umbra Space Industries. So the whole USI stuff um, for colonization. And uh, I use the, I think it's Caribou Rover named. Let me have a look. 
it's carryable rover and the survivability pack. I use universal storage, I have the Kerbal alarm block installed to get my ideal launch windows. Um, tech life support is used because I want it to be as realistic as possible. Um, I use remote tech because I want to have it as realistic as possible. Um, you remember the Martian, the big team within the Martian is um, all this delay in communication when you go as far away from Earth because, well, even your uh, chatter uh, over radio can only travel with a speed of light and it's quite a time to reach Mars, in our case Duna, it's not that long because it's all smaller, um, but this is remote tech for. I use real shoot planet shine to make it a little bit more shiny and more lighted on the planets. I use mod rockets for some additional parts which are pretty stock light. Kiss and Cass are on there because I need to well stabilize the ship in orbit with struts and I want to be able to exchange parts and ethers and all this stuff so I really want to do EVAs uh, with a meaning. Um, I use Kerbal Engineer um, because I need to know how big the parts are, how much Delta V I have available for maneuvers. I use the Hull Camera VDS mod um, to use docking cameras and uh, yeah, a little GoPros for coo hopefully cool images. I didn't do all the videos yet, um, but the docking cameras look pretty awesome when you dock all the Hermes stuff. A fire spitter and in the background you can see all the planet over there. Um, I also use the visual enhancements um, for the environment and I actually use some other tweaks to gain at least some performance with this kind of a big ship. So where will we go from here? From here we will start with the first episodes assembling the Hermes in orbit and preparing our satellite network um, to actually have uh, coverage all around Kerbin and uh, in direction of Duna. So, this is what will happen next. Um, hope you will enjoy the series. Um, welcome to my before only German spoken channel. Have a good time. My name is Robert. Goodbye.